Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, September 5th, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. Snow has returned to the model and a geomagnetic storm lasting for days. But the big story... Storms bring heavy rain and strong winds to North Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. Keep calm. It's boom time. Now, these were no small storms in Texas. In fact, over 100,000 people were without power at one point, and oh, no, some of the buildings didn't oh, fare no. so well. Oh. Here we see new construction completely this obliterated, and then watch oh, the next it's section the here. Other one's gonna go too. Oh, my oh, gosh. No. oh, oh my gosh. no, it's right. Those are some heavy winds there, that folks. Gonna go too. It's not leaning. It's not going to go. Oh, wow. I cannot believe it. Yeah, I can't believe it either. But in fact, North Texas residents saw damage and power outages amid severe storms on Sunday. Sheets of rain falling in downtown Dallas. Take a look at that. And we already watched the building collapse. Now, the power issue isn't so bad. Only 15,000 with customers out now. The big winner chicken dinner in the power outage game is California with 42,000 plus outages. It could be because of the heat wave and they actually turned the electric off. Now, dust storm near nearly derails Burning Man. Oh, holy macaroni. That is one derecho. As two dead in the Northern California fire. And this is the mill fire. We reported on it the other day. Two people, unfortunately, have died in the blaze that ripped through Northern California. Less than just around 25% containment currently, according to Cal Fire. 6.6 .6 square miles burned many houses and two fatalities. Now, Blaine County Sheriff issued a mandatory evacuation notice for the Four Corners fire. This is in Blaine County, Idaho. The update was is just coming out this morning on mon Monday at 8 a.m., according to Blaine County Sheriff's Office, Idaho's State Highway 75 is closed between Smiley Creek Airport Road and Smiley Creek Road due to fire activity. So, heads up if you're in the mandatory evacuation notice, take heed and get out. Now, something else heating up is the tropics. We have Tropical Storm Earl and Hurricane Daniel. Hurricane Daniel's moving uh, her way over to the UK. Hey, hey, and Tropical Storm Earl will join her in just a few days. But we do have another tropical disturbance, Tropical Storm K in the Pacific that has several of the spaghetti runs here taking it right up into Arizona. So we'll keep a close eye on it for you people in Arizona and the Four Corners region because that could be some flooding torrential rain. Now let's run through the current GFS model and you can see that tropical storm right there. Uh, is that Earl? Yeah. You can see Earl moving up the coast and then you can see on this model how they have K just hugging the coast for the most part here as we move the model forward. So only affecting Baja and Southern California, but those models can change because they're just a few days out. Now, oppressive heat for most of the West. Heavy rainfall p potential in portions of Northeast Texas. Oppressive heat weight continues to affect much of the Western U.S. through the middle of the week. It was 91 here, and now it's just stopped raining, so it's nice and cool. Now, critical fire weather conditions are possible across portions of the Northern Plains and Idaho. Meanwhile, heavy rain and uh, the threat of flash flooding will impact southern New England through the Ohio River Valley. Look at all these flood warnings out for at least a dozen states. So heed the warnings there. Flash flood warnings out all over the Appalachians and heat warnings in the west. Here we are at the GFS model to reveal the first snow falling in uh, those regions in Canada over the next few days. Well, actually, this is two weeks out totally, but it looks like some pretty heavy numbers could be coming early to the models. And here we are looking at those tropical disturbances, which are going to be dumping large amounts of rain on a parched Europe. And then this includes Spain, France, and Germany in a big way, as well as Portugal and the UK. Hey, hey. And we can just go over here to the total accumulated precipitation to see how much rain that is. And that's a, wow, that is a boatload there. Look at that. Yeah, we're looking at about two feet or more in southern Spain and, and or southern France here. 
and Spain is going to be picking up a foot, a foot and a half in many regions, as well as northern Portugal. So heads up, there's going to be some flooding rain conditions, as well as in the UK. Hey, hey, and this is all much needed for these regions. As they continue to push the narrative of the climate emergency, and we're all going to burn up, the lost 2017 Airbus engine was just found in Greenland. And you know what? It was under 12 feet of ice. Yes, in just five years. 12 feet of ice. And they want to tell you that Greenland is catastrophically melting and going to raise sea level 10 feet. Well, there's no melting in Greenland. In fact, it's been nothing but mass gain. The end of the melt season is over, and we've been gaining up to 5 gigatons of ice per day on the Greenland ice sheet. Them's is the facts. Major magnitude 6.9 earthquake strikes at the South Atlantic Ocean, at the Mid-Ocean Ridge. Luckily, no one lives there, and the water is quite deep. Now, earthquake rattles Kentucky yesterday, and this was a day after a Missouri quake, so the New Madrid zone is heating up. This is a nice little article on what happened in 1811 and 1812, the most significant earthquakes to strike the U.S. Well, that's what. And it did happen, the big one, December 16th, 1811, roughly at 2.15 a.m. A powerful 8.1 quake rocked northeast Arkansas in what is now known as the New Madrid Seismic Zone. And it actually reversed the course of the Mississippi River for some time. Now, if that happened today, wow, that would be the, that would end the empire. That catastrophe would bankrupt the planet. But we are waiting for a solar flash, and we'll get to that by the end of the uh, video here. Seismic update, some more big rockers. We had a, quite a large quake here, 6.6 .6 in Kangding, China. And some more mid-ocean ridge activity, 6.2 in the southeastern Pacific rise, as well as a 5.1 in the north mid-Atlantic ridge. So, a little seismic uptick. And you can see we reported on a seismic swarm in the Chirinus fracture zone. It's continuing mildly as well as a mild seismic swarm in the Reykjanes Ridge, but no eruptive activity for about a month now, or it's been a few weeks. And worldwide, there's not much spectacular happening with volcanoes either. So I went to check out, check out the Northwest Seismic uh, Research Center here, and you can see that Mount St. Helens continues to rumble with several quakes in just the last few hours, right at the Caldera Rim. But in the last week or so, since we reported on a major uptick right around here, uh, there's been a lot less activity at St. Helens. But there has been an uptick at Mount Hood, which now stands at 46 quakes in the last 30 days. And an uptick at Rainier, which is showing 20 quakes in the last 30 days. So we're going to keep a close eye on the Pacific Northwest, as we know that just 200 years ago, up to seven of these volcanoes were erupting. Now let's get to the space weather update. The enhanced solar wind stream we predicted days ago continued to stir up geomagnetic activity in a big way. Geomagnetic storm is continuing for three days. In fact, two of the, the last two days we've been in geomagnetic storm for most of the time. But the power seems to be waning off a little, and that's good news. Also good news is the big sunspot region, active region 3089 here that was turning behind the west limb, gave way to a massive explosion, which we registered on this side of the Earth as an M-flare. And so it's boom time once again for Venus. <laughs> it's getting pummeled, as well as uh, Solo O. I don't know what this is. Maybe another stereo. There's a little satellite out there, too, that's about to get hammered. But luckily, we're Earth in, in yellow here, and it's not going to affect us. But it did affect the aurora, and we've seen some of the most brilliant auroras over the last two days, and these are just some of the pictures from aurora chasers. And some of these are the most spectacular auroras and features and displays that have never been witnessed, and this is due to the waning magnetosphere. So some of these types of aurora are the first time ever seen, like this one. Just a spectacular display from nothing more than a coronal hole stream. Not even a solar flare, guys. So that is how vulnerable our planet is. There were some power outages during that time, but nothing major. Now, did you see the strange lights spotted in the Utah sky on Labor Day? Well, if you did, you'll recognize them as Starlink. Because we did a video a few years ago when we first spotted them. 
And in fact, that, that they are not a UFO. That is Elon Musk's doing. And that is a cool. Starlink train right there. But a more unique phenomenon occurred. Okay, so that was Salt Lake City. A more unique phenomenon occurred in the Texas sky. And now take a look at this. This, in my opinion, is much more UFO-esque. And it could be drones by the way they're moving. A little independently there. So that's kind of interesting right there. That footage will link you below. Isn't a plane. This video was sent to Fox 7. And pretty cool sightings happening. One not so cool because it's just Starlink, but this one, well, somebody may be trying to play a hoax or do something like that. Now, what's not a hoax is Bill Nye, the complete um, charlatan shill for the globalists, the UN, and the climate emergency agenda. He just put out a six-part series on Armageddon. Only this Armageddon is your fault. In the end is Nye. Bill Nye takes on an un unlikely role, a charismatic leader of an eco-death cult. And who better to do it than a shill like the non-science guy? And this is all the while billionaires and the super rich are prepping and planning to save themselves from the real apocalypse. And we all know what that is. What if the Carrington event, the largest solar storm ever recorded, happened today? Well, it would be boom time and it would be the end of the empire quite rapidly. There would be instantaneous global unrest and the fabric of society would unravel rapidly. And these billionaires, they want to go underground with indoor pools and all kind of other stuff. So... Hey guys, did you see the video I just put out this morning about Milky Way Mountain Caprines? We took a trip over there. It's worth your while. And if you're looking for raw goat, goat milk, all the people's comments are like, goat milk tastes disgusting. This is the most amazing milk I've ever tasted. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like sweet, sugary milk. It's amazing milk. And I want to thank Heather for letting us all come out there. So if you're looking for raw goat milk shares or guardian dogs... You can just give them a call or click on whatever place you got to click on here, right? Farm Living Raw Goat Milk Shares. So that's all you got to do to get the goat milk. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Thank each and every one of you for watching and pushing that thumbs up button. Become a Patreon and support the work we do. We love you. You be a hero and share the video. Be safe. That's boom.